Right here, the trail chopper this way, you know? From Judah all the way down to Issachar, man. And yeah, you got some Israelites that will look like the other nations, man. So it's not a color thing. It's not a black or white thing, you know? It's all about the spirit, you know? Romans 8 and 16, you know? <laughs> and we've been scattered amongst the nations, which is also in the curses, man, you know? But, hey, if you look like one of the other nations, like a so-called Chinese person or whatever, you better hope and pray that you're an Israelite, man, you know? You look like a so-called white person, you better hope and pray that you're an Israelite. That's all I got to say, man. Hope and pray, man. And some of you uh, so-called black people, y'all not Israelites, man. You got chocolate Edomites running around. You got to remember slave, slavery, man. How uh, Esau Edom was raping our women, man. So, so, so some so-called black people are Edomites, man. It's a uh, hey, it's a spiritual thing, man. <laughs> you know. So let me get um, let me see uh, uh, oh yeah, First John three and four, real quick. It said, "Whosoever committed sin, transgress also the law. For sin, the transgress of the law, man. And who is under the law, man? The nation of Israel. That's their covenant. Covenant. It said, for he established a testimony in Jacob and pointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our father. It said, pointed a law in Israel." So we're the only nation that can go off. We're the only nation that can sin. Because we are under the co covenant. It's of which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. You know. Uh, Psalms 89. Let me see. 89 and uh, 27. Come on, come on. It said, um. Also, I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. My muscle will I keep for him forevermore. And my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever. And his throne is the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep my and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgressor with the war and their iniquity with stripes, man. You know? So we are going to get punished. We are going to get judged, man. That's why whenever you see uh, Jake, you know, in the word, you know, train girls that lost, they get judged, man. I, hey, it was one uh, incident you know, when I um, went to the brother Yakuna, uh job, you know. This dude, he came in, you know, with uh, tools going to his heart or whatever. You know, we, you know, he was saying he just fell off a bike, man. Hey, that lets you know you should feel the Lord, man. This man fell off a bike. Now he got to have surgery, man. You know? But, you know, you know Jake. Jake don't realize, man. Jake. Hey, Jake too, man. Jake don't understand why he catching so much hell, man. You know, Jake eat pork all day long, but why don't they suffer for a high blood pressure or some shit, man? You know? Hey, it's good to say in Job 4 7, whoever appears being innocent, man. You know? Hey, but let me read that one more time. Uh, Psalms 89, 31. If they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then when I visit their transgression with the word, you know, and their iniquity with stripes. So we are going to be judged. We are going to get punished. It's just saying Amos 3 and 1. Here is the word that the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai, has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. You know, the Lord only known us, you know. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So we all going to get punished. And to this day, our people still getting punished, man. Hey, stop listening to your pork chop pastor, man, telling you that the law done away with. But you got to keep paying your tights, man. Hey, stop hogging and stop uh, lying to his bullshit, man. You know. Yeah, we under grace, but hey, you still got to keep the law. Romans 3 and 31, you know? Romans the sixth chapter, man. Where it says Psalms 147 and 19. Psalm 147 and 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. He had not dared so with any nation, and it's for judgments that have not known them. Praise you the Lord, man. So the Lord only dealing with his people, man. <laughs> hey, you, you could say the Lord is a, is a racist, man. You know, you can say that, that the God of the Bible is a racist. And, and you look the word racist up, it's just me for my people. The Lord is for his people only, man. You know, Deuteronomy 76, where it quit. 
for there are a holy people unto the Lord that power, the Lord Yahweh that power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know? And they're talking about the nation of Israel, whether you believe it or not, man. You know? And you get on close on Hebrews the eighth chapter. Hebrews eight. I'm gonna start at seven. It said, For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sold for the second. For find the fault with them, he said, Behold, you know, with them, you know, with us, you know, because we transgressed the law, you know, we went off. We start worshiping other gods, you know, you know, into other philosophies, man. You know, for find the fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, you know. <laughs> the Trail Tribe of Israel, the Southern Kingdom, the so called Negro tribes, and the so called Latin tribes, you know. From Judah all the way down to Issachar, man, you know. Uh, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not, not according to the covenant that I made with the fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the, out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. It said, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will, and I will be there, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> and I will be, be to them a power, and that shall be to me a people. And I think they're in the book of Jeremiah too. It said on uh, 11, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord for all. For all should know me from the least to the greatest, right? From the least to the greatest, man. That lets you know the kingdom of heaven, it gonna be um levels to it, man, so to speak, man. You gonna have the elect, the one third and the two third, you know. The two thirds are gonna be um gonna be considered the least. Like you got uh celebrities that sold out to Esau Edom to the uh, to the devil, so they sold, they're gonna be least in the kingdom of heaven. You know? But hey, they're gonna be good though. They're still gonna be rich, they're still gonna be wealthy, you know. But, hey, they're going to be the least, though. <laughs> you know? It's just levels to it, man. You know? <laughs> then you know the Lord not just <laughs> about equality, man. You know? It's levels to it. It's order to it, man. It said, know the Lord for all should know me from the least to the greatest. And we're not going to be teaching them to get right anymore, to repent, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. Because the law, statute, and commandments are going to be in us. Gonna be in us, it's gonna be in our spirit. It said, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their negatives, but I will remember no more. And that he said, A new covenant he had made first, now that was decayed and rest old is ready to vanish away. But the law, hey, the new covenant gonna be us, gonna be in us, only to the nation of Israel. The other heathen nations, you know, the other nations, they're not gonna have the law, they're not gonna have the covenant. So they're gonna continue to go off and they're gonna be punished. By us, you know, we gonna be executing judgment, you know. So, Lord, I hope you edify. Once again, we we'll give our praises and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Shai, by Shem Kakodash. Want to get about honors to the apostles and his great millstone who teach you well. And I want to say peace and love to the elect of Israel. For that, Shalom, Kamnash Allah, Wa Ba Ba.